We're walking from fountain up. We're going to go on up toward the Lucille Ball home. Hello from Hollywood Happenings. We're out walking Starlet. We walked by the former first home of comedian actress Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball, a red scare. I love Lucy start to die is coming now. A headline from the Herald Express. Walking through the neighborhood of the former I Love Lucy Star, Lucille Lucy Ball, Ball was accused Lucy of being a communist in 1953. This is some of the homes. By the media. Her daughter, Lucy Arnaz, said she was scared of losing her career and that Desi Arnaz took charge. Desi Arnaz really did phone, phone former FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover, who publicly cleared Lucille Ball. Now, Ball's controversy stems back to 1936 when she registered to vote as affiliated herself with the Communist Party along with other members of her family. Later, Ball maintained that she did so to appease her socialist grandfather, but she was never an active member of the party. Now, Arnaz asked if the FBI had any reason to believe that Lucille Ball was a communist. The person on the other end of the phone said no. It was revealed that, that Ball had registered to vote as a member of the Communist Party on a voter registration application from 1936. Lucy Arnaz, Lucille Ball, and Desi Arnaz's daughter all provided insight into things that what it was like for the Arnaz family in 1953 when the Los Angeles Herald Express accused Ball of being a communist by running the headline, Lucio Ball, a red in red ink. Now, archive footage was found with uh, Lucy's brother, Fred, uh, stating that his sister and him did register as a communist party in order to pacify their grandfather, Frederick Charles Hunt, who raised them and was always for the working man. 1953, uh, Lucille Ball was interviewed by both the FBI and the House Committee of, on Un-American Activities, which was created so that members of Congress investigated disloyalty to the country by privileged citizens, public figures, and organizations suspected of having fascist or communist ties, according to the rap. Now, they interviewed her about it at great length, and they cleared her, Lucy uh, Lucy's daughter, Lucy Odette, said in the documentary about her mother's experience with the House Committee and on Un-American un Activities. But that didn't stop the Los Angeles Herald Express from running their loose cell ball around. Headline, Lucy, who was only two years old at the time, said Arnaz took matters into his own hands to protect his wife. What he did was invite the press into their house, and he told them exactly what my mother had done, that had never been involved in any Communist Party, Lucy said. Arnaz actually took clearing his wife's name an extra level, as depicted on the Aaron Serkin's 2021 film, Being the Ricardos. He invited members of the press to a live taping of an episode of I Love Lucy and got the director of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, Hoover on the phone. Lucy said and the new documentary. She recalled what uh, Desi did was get Hoover on the phone in earshot of the studio audience. Your wife is cleared on any charges 100% clear. Arnaz then introduced Ball into the audience and according to Lucy, her father delivered one of the most famous lines then. The only thing read about her was her hair, and even that was not legitimate, according to Lucy. Ball received a standing ovation from the audience at the time. Lucy and Desi is now available on... Now, the documentary Lucy and Desi can be found on Amazon Prime, and you can also watch the movie Being the Ricardos, which is more a movie about the actual show, things that happened. Not happened on the show, but it was more about their lives and a few takes from the show. 
Now, being a Ricardo's uh, uh, 2021 movie, it's built around several of real life events in the lives of Lucio Ball and Desi Ones. Perhaps the most critical is the accusation that Lucio Ball was a communist. Pointedly, the Los Angeles Herald Express used red, the color of communism, and Ball's famous locks, ink, or red scare above the masthead accusation. Lucille Ball was read in 1936. I Love Lucy thought to die, it's copy now. Warren opposed for Chief Justice passed. Now, the thing that the media did is they splashed an affidavit of register her voter registration across uh, the media, across newspapers, uh, stating that to sponsor the Communist Party in 1936, candidate for the California State Assembly 57th District Ball signed the certificate saying, I am registered as an affiliated with the Communist Party. The same year, she was appointed to the State Central Committee of the Communist Party of California, according to records of the California State in 1937, Hollywood writer Brenner. Vale, a self-identified former communist, attended a communist party new members class at Ball's home, according to Vale's testimony before the United States House of Representatives Special House on American Activities Community, HUAC, on July 22, 1942. Years later, Vale affirmed the testimony as sworn deposition. In a quote from Minnie Vale, within a few days after my third application to join the Communist Party was made, I received a notice to attend the meeting on North Ogden Drive, Hollywood. Although it was a typed, unsigned note, merely requesting my presence at the address at 8 o'clock in the evening on a given day, I knew it was a long-awaited notice to attend the Communist Party new members' classes. On arrival at this address, I found several other present an elderly man informed us that we were guests of the screen actress through Silver Ball and showed us various picture books and other objects to establish the fact that stated that she was glad to loan her home for a Communist Party to new members class, Rainy Vale. On September 4, 1953, Ball met privately with the HAU investigator William A. William in Hollywood and gave him a sealed testimony. She Hollywood happenings here. Uh, today we're here at the home of Lucio Ball. To find out more, check out Hollywood happenings. Subscribe now, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. She stated she had registered to vote as a communist to attend and vote communist ticket in 1936. Her socialist grandfather, Fred C. Hunt, insisted she stated she had no time intended to vote as a communist. A secret communist meeting of communists. Lucille Ball denies being read despite 1936 registration. Before the filming on September 11, 1953, filming of The Girls Go Into Business, Desi Ones, instead of his usual audience warm up, told him about Lucy and her grandfather reusing the line. He had first given to Hedda Hopper an interview he quipped. Lucy has always had a clear conscience about this. She has never been a communist, and what's more, she hates every communist in Hollywood. The only thing read about Lucy is her hair, and even that is not legitimate. What happened next was an amazing um uh, Studio audience gave her a rousing round of applause, standing ovation. In December, I Love Lucy cast was invited to perform at the White House with President Dwight Eisenhower, therefore concern, confirming her innocence. Now, her home was located at 1344 North Ogden Drive between Santa Monica, the Long Prix, and Fountain Avenues. Beautiful West Hollywood neighborhood. Now the first ever Hollywood home of beloved American actress or so far was on the market uh, recently for $1.75 million.
Now, the home located at 1344 North Ogden uh, Drive and the a unique opportunity uh, to live there much thought after historical spotting square neighborhood best location on the street hardwood floors and a crowd molding throughout beautiful craftsmen with tons of classic charm and numerous upgrades avocados and lemon trees decks off the master and kitchen hot tub gorgeous german green stone kitchen instant water heat charming attic dormers pride of ownership uh, now the home last sold it's a two bedroom two bath 1874 square foot house it was last sold on february 17 2017 for one million five hundred and fifty thousand dollars uh the re redfin estimate is worth two thousand two million three hundred and thirteen thousand six hundred and forty six is the estimate but it's not currently on the market Here's some of the homes. AstroTurf. That is pretty. I like that. AstroTurf. <clears throat> this is a view from across the street. Now, Bob moved into the 1,874 square foot American Craftsman style home in 1933 after she signed the first studio deal. The 1919 home has an open floor plan, living room, dining room, kitchen that lets in plenty of LA's bright sunlight. There are two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a study, an office space, and even a hot tub out back. Now the whole thing occupies a green 6,751 square foot lot with the front and backyard and a lime and avocado trees. A real slice of Hollywood history is now was on the market and sold in 2017. Now the home of Lucille Ball moved into after signing to RKO Pictures in 1933. Lucille Ball was just 22 when the future star of the sitcom I Love Lucy took up residence at 1344 North Ogden Drive, a 1,874 square two-bedroom home that was soon inhabited in the whole family who followed her out from New York to Los Angeles, which caused problems when her grandfather used it as a meeting place for the Communist Party piles, nearly crashing her career. Included at the end are some of the great shots of inside what the home, even though it's been updated to 20th century charm, but it gives you an idea of the feeling and the ambiance of the Lucio Ball home uh, from the inside and the backyard. Stay to the end. From the Herald of Express, splashed above the mask can, Lucio Ball in red, all in red. I love Lucy Star denies coming now. Lucille Ball splashed on the headlines in red link. Uh, Lucille Ball was in red 1936, uh, which splashed her home address across the news media by the Herald Express.
Lucy and Desi reading the article or reading the newspaper out looks like outside in their backyard of their home. Desi Ardez was a big defender of Lucille Ball and got a standing ovation and personally spoke with J. Edgar Hoover. And a headline from the Los Angeles Times, it says, Lucy and Desi, uh, Lucille Ball gives birth to an eight-pound boy, which Desi Arnaz Jr. Lucille Ball registered red in 1936, a secret memo of commerce. Lucille Ball denies being red despite 1936 regist registration, which she did to appease her grandfather. Lucille Ball, read 1936, denies Kami and an affidavit and a Western Union telegram. Hollywood Says, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Hollywood Says, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Hollywood Says, stay tuned for a tour of inside and outside of Lucille Ball's home. Stay with us to the end for a view from the inside and outside of the first home of Blue Silk Ball. Just a view of some of the photos that was listed on MLS. It sold in 2017 for $1.5 million. That was the last time that it sold and she moved into the home when she was 22 years old. Keep watching to the end. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. You'll see more of this. And check out the home of Lucille Ball up on Roxbury Drive by Hollywood Happenings. There's so much more to come, so many more celebrity tours. But this is during the Red Scare era, and this is the modern-day Renovation to the former and first home of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz during the Red Scare days. The following is the bathroom, some of the bedrooms, kitchen, outside the home. Stay till the end.